Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. And uh, well, has to be done, doesn't it? <laughs> so the acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group um, challenge of Ju September is in from or in through or for the bathroom now in many homes um the toilet's in the bathroom both of our toilets are actually separate my, both the one in my studio and the one in the house um but you know i did a um a soap dispenser for the toilet room so why not a toilet lid <laughs> uh, it has been washed and as you just saw I gave it a very very light sanding um, just to give it a little bit of grit and this is a pretty new toilet um, this is actually the one from my studio because Glenn decided that he couldn't do without a toilet seat in the house for a few weeks until it's dry enough to put back in. So I have to do the one in my studio. How terrible. Oh, right. So I wipe down with alcohol um, to get the dust off and to get any... It has been washed with soap and water before we even start here, guys. Oh, it doesn't want to focus, though. Because it's something to focus on. Here we go. Hmm, weird. Okay. Uh, so the other thing that I'm going to do before I get started with actually painting this is find my... What's it called? Can't even think what it's called. Masking tape. Here we go. Um, and I don't want to get paint all through the hinge because this, the hinge goes down. This is actually part of the toilet, it, like the seat itself. So I'm just going to mask off. Oh, if this masking tape will do what I want it to do, because it's old. Where's my newer roll? Oh, there it is. Asking you shall receive. A newer roll. This one doesn't fall apart like the other one. So I'm just going to mask off basically in line with that. Really give it a good rub to seal that edge. And then I'm going to take some more tape I know, slightly wasteful but at least it will be clean My interesting point of view is that Acrylic paint needs a couple of weeks to completely set. So as long as you, once it's dry, dry enough to tilt and tip and move, if you then turn it over and clean the underside, if you are intent on cleaning the underside, if it's plastic, you should be fine. So I'm not going to worry about the underside. But... I am going to put it up on tins to keep it dripping nicely all the way off the edges. <laughs> I can't believe I'm painting a toilet seat. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that makes me giggle. How much fun can you have painting? That's what I want to know. How much fun are you willing to have painting? It's probably a mortar. 
you can have as much fun as you choose. You gotta choose it, guys. Fun is one of those things that if you don't choose it, you don't get it. Alright. <clears throat> Reasonable. Yep, that'll do. That'll do, Bob. That'll do. Now, I don't want to run out of paint on this one, so I'm actually going to measure it. Uh, where's my... I think I need to spend some time cleaning out my studio. I can't find stuff. I think I'm organised and then I am not. So, 30... Basically 40 centimetres, which... Um, four fours are 16 inches and then I go 40 centimeters again so 40 by 40 four fours are 16 six, 160 inches uh, no that's not right 40 times 40 is not 160. It's 1460. Which means... No, 14. That's not... It's 1.6 litres of paint. Surely not. I need a lot more than one of my tins, that's for sure. Um, okay, so 40, oh, that's centimetres squared, Dinkleberry, what did I say, 16 by 16, 16 times 16. Is 256 16 inches okay so the calculation I'm doing is um, where's my vivid height times width and in inches equals X number of millilitres of paint does that work? Yes. And 30 mils equals a fluid ounce. So, 256 milliliters. I'm going to go for 300 because, you know what? I don't trust it. Um, hmm. How big's one of these? 375 grams, so probably about right. What do you reckon? Big. Okay. I'm going to go with that. So what colours am I using today? I have a small amount of phthalo blue mixed up. That's got silicon in it. I have a small amount of yellow ochre. And those of you that know me know I don't use yellow ochre very often. And that, that has thickened. Um... So, still too thick. I will pause the video and make these the right thickness for you. I have grass green. I have vermilion orange. I 
and I have white. So between those five colours, I reckon we're going to get a really funky toilet seat lid. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm going to have, I know what I'm going to have. I'm going to have fun. And hey, if I hate it, I can always wash it off. Or buy a new toilet seat if it's really that bad. <laughs> so I'm going to pause the video, make sure these are all the right consistency, and I'll be right back to get us started playing with the magic. Right, so I've got all my paints mixed to a similar consistency, which is always useful, by the way. Um, the only thing I need to do now is just add some silicon. So... At the moment, I'm using Durex Play Perfect Glide and finding that really good. So I'm just going to put, nearly empty though. Whoa, that's heaps. Okay. The green decided it wanted to be most prominent, I think. <laughs> um, just a word of warning, don't stir too much once you've got the oil in. Otherwise, it breaks it down into such tiny little things that you don't get decent sizes. The blue already has silicon in, and I'm not sure about the yellow ochre, but we'll see. We'll soon find out, won't we? Okay. Now, while I was away, I also used my... Um, measuring jug and tested how big this actually does hold and right to the very 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 brim holds 320 milliliters or 10 and two thirds ounces um so need to leave a bit of room to be able to flip it we should be good because i worked out i only need 256 milliliters so we've got some space for, for flipping <laughs> all right I'm going to start off with some white in the bottom uh, the only the other thing is guys when you're doing this style of painting you always end up with leftover paint in the um, in the bottom of your container so if you're going to end up with leftover paint you need to actually allow for that in your measurements if you know what I mean so if I say okay we need 256 milliliters to cover this subtract anything that drips off subtract anything that's left in the cup oops maybe 300 mils to start with would have been a better idea okay so I'm just going to go around and layer these colours in. I'm doing it from quite high up, so they mix quite a lot. Um, and we'll see what happens. Really? going to have a lot of orange and green and white in this because I didn't start off with a lot of blue or yellow okra again if you're scraping out your containers that have got dried paint around the edges don't scrape too hard otherwise you'll get chunky bits in your paint and that is really not fun Oops. Go again with the white. Go again with the green. I'm getting quite a funky colour cup in there. It's going to have a brown tinge, but hey, it's a toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> it 
and a dollop more white just just for good luck oh crikey me what is this going to look like in the end so i would say we have roughly probably 290 mils of paint in there do i trust myself to flip it or should i put a card over the top i think i might put a bit of bit of plastic so this is just a bit of cut up milk bottle oops Glad I didn't put brown in there. <laughs> oh, how much fun can you have with paint, guys? Honestly, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. No. Actually, you know, I saw one of the kids were watching a, um, a, a, a YouTube channel for a while there, and he had the thing, if, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. And I was like, something wonky about saying things like that. And I realized it's not that you're not doing it right. It's that you're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> um, if it's not fun for you, please, please, please find something else. Now, this is really cool, actually, because this is slightly bent over the sides. And I've always wished that my canvases were bent over the sides which would then allow um like the paint just to naturally flow so let's see if it does naturally flow wow we might have too much paint but we'll see it is definitely laterally, la naturally flowing, so we better get before it flows off the edge. Get some of these air bubbles popped and get some cells happening. So as it flows, it can be. the big bubbles though where's my poppy tool <laughs> ah. just pop pop I'm loving this little line of silicon bubbles here okay <clears throat> It's gone wide, it just hasn't gone long. Ooh. Not a fan of this patch here. Love that bit. This is pretty cool. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Now. Bring it back. Go to this corner. Next. Just getting it to the side so that it can learn where to run. heap of paint coming off here and I just want to give it something to run on I'm really loving those cells I don't want to lose them
almost. There we go. Bring it back. Grab some of this paint and pop it up over here to help that know where to go. Now I'm just going to pull it all back. Wow, this is super cool. Oh, how many of you are ripping your toilet seats off right now? <laughs> just mentally, in your head, who's asking permission of the, the landlord or the husband? Wow! Check it out, I love it. <laughs> now, the thing is, I really don't want to lose this bit here. So if it's going to be on any angle and lose any paint, I actually want it to run off this way. So, that's the target. If you're going to run, run that way, guys. But look at that! Wow, I love it! Oh, oh my goodness me! Right, I can see a whole heap of air bubbles in there. So I'm going to <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Your bubbles popping. Now I know a heap of you are going to ask, are you going to resin it? What are you going to do with it? To be honest, no, I'm not going to resin it. I am just going to leave it to be, um, as I say, this is the toilet seat for my studio. I am not selling it. So don't put any offers in. But it's super cool. I love it. Really like this piece here. Really like the way the colours have smeared together. Um, not sure what the green and white are doing over here. They're kind of separated a little bit. I'm not sure all of these paints are Reeves acrylic fine artist brand okay this one and I'm loving it still a lot of air bubbles though so sure about this white though this is a new reeves have started re covering their thing and the white that i bought it's chopped open so i could scrape it out well doesn't actually say fine artist quality on it but it also doesn't say intro which is what the their cheaper brand normally says now the big ones used to look like this See, fine artist quality. Nowhere on here does it say fine artist quality. And I'm wondering if it is a lower quality and that's why we're getting this um, breaking. Maybe I just put too much water and not enough. Maybe I need to start putting PVA in it. I don't know. If you've got any ideas 
what could be creating that let me know in the comments I would love to hear from you so should I get you down and show you it close up and personal never thought I'd say on a YouTube video should I show you my toilet seat close up and personal <laughs> oh, I'm so funny anyway I'm glad I enjoy myself if you don't find another channel all right, I'm bringing you down. Okay. How cool is that? You know what? Resin would be very cool because you'd get that real shiny, cool as. But to be honest, in the room it's going, nobody's probably ever going to see it. So, if you ever come to my studio, say, Michelle, I want to see your toilet. <laughs> Give me some warning so I can clean it first. So there's some cool cells. This breaking up thing, I'm not excited about that. Um, but there's some fun and funky bits. Look at that. <laughs> Love these. These are beautiful. They're just so pretty pretty see see this breaking stuff I'm not liking that I mean it's different it's interesting but it's not what I want so tell me what you want what you really really want just tell me what you want what you really really want I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna sell with multi layers like this one here if you want to be my painting, you better get with the cold. Fuzzy edges don't cut it. But nice pretty ones do. Oops, what happened? I think I zoomed too far. Look at that. It's tiny, that one. Let me zoom right back out again. So you can get a sense of how tiny that one is. Anyway, this is quite fun. I like this. It's got cells inside cells. It's so cool. <laughs> it looks like um some sort of see if I can get him to be straight form for you. Some sort of cartoon character with a mouth and two eyes and a four, big forehead. Pick the person that's had young kids lately. Oh look, it looks like a cartoon character. This is the piece I really like. I've got that giant um, caterpillar on the edge there. But this just looks like a galaxy. It's so cool. <laughs> And that's pouring down the drain. Hmm. Literally, it's going down the toilet. <laughs> oh, this is pretty, even though it's all broken up. That is pretty. I like that. So maybe I don't want that side to pour off. Oh, crikey. Question then becomes, is it moving much? So, look at that. Subtle, yet pretty. Alright. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. So, there's my toilet seat, guys. I'm excited to see what this turns out like. And unfortunately, Today's the day before I go to Tokyo, so I'm going to have to wait till I get back from Tokyo before I get to find that out. Um, wow. I wonder what magic this will create over the next week and before I get back. I look forward to seeing it, and I look forward to seeing you. You get to see it in three, two, one... Okay, so I'm just going to run my blade along. 
Hooray. Right. Trying to do two things at once. Along the edge of this paint, along the edge of the tape, I mean, thinking and talking, how dare I think I can do that. Um, just to cut a clean cut through that, staying on the line. Where did I get to? Yeah. So then, when I peel it off, it will come off cleanly. So, there it is. Piggle all of it. Eh. Sorry, I'm hand holding. I haven't set my cam my tripod up from taking it to Tokyo yet. And no, I didn't paint in Tokyo. I was live streaming an energetic dentist. Ah! I didn't cut that properly. Pug dogs. Um, I was live streaming a class from Tokyo. And I needed my tripod. Here it goes. To hold my phone. to do that so I'm home now my painting is dry and I can record an end bit for you yay okay so this is I didn't cut properly ah like so didn't cut properly I'm going to have to put a sealer over I wasn't planning on putting a sealer. Um, but now that I've ripped bits, I'm going to have to seal. So that it glues that down. Sorry for the handheld camera work, guys. Much apologies. There we go. So I will clean up these under bits where it's seeped under the tape. And then I will seal it and glue those bits down that have come up. But it looks awesome. I'm going to take it outside so you've got some bright light. So there we are. Look at that. It looks so cool. I think it's awesome. So um, this in here, the paint has pulled, broken. But I think that actually occurred at the time of pouring while it was still wet. Um... It's kind of done it all the way along the side. So. And it's the same sort of thing as is happening in here. But because it's then fallen off the side. It looks worse than it is. Oh, this is so pretty. And yet fallen off the side again there too. It's like it's got stretch marks. <laughs> But I like it. It's going to look funky. People that come and use my toilet at my studio are going to get a treat. So there you go, guys. Acrylic pouring on a toilet seat. How does it get any better than that? I like it. I like it a lot. Um, there's bound to be somebody that says, open it up. Show us what's underneath. 
So that's actually, as I did that, it's torn a little bit there as well. So I am going to seal it before putting it on the toilet. And it's, I mean, it's run round, but not much. It's not too fugly. I can't get it to focus on the bit I need it to focus on. Focus there. There we go. So it's run round a little bit, but not much. How's it get any better? Look, toilet seat. <laughs> so, what can you paint on or for the bathroom? Or maybe something that's in the bathroom that can't be removed from the bathroom. Maybe a sink top or something. Obviously, if you're renting, please ask your landlord first. And uh, maybe don't. <laughs> All right, guys, come join us on Acrylic Pouring for fun. Go to the events page. Um, click on the bathroom event and share your creations. We would love to see what, you're ma what magic you're creating for your, for your bathroom. And um, how much fun can we all have? Whether we're painting or not. What magic can you choose today? I adore you all. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.